Hey everyone and welcome back to Watson Accelerators. Today we're going to go over the Field Service Advisor Accelerator. Now as the name indicates, the Field Service Advisor Accelerator helps field service technicians troubleshoot issues when they are out in the field and provide them with information so that they can solve these problems quicker and also with more accuracy. Now the Field Service Advisor Accelerator integrates with the Watson IoT platform and also Watson Machine Learning to show how we can monitor and predict issues with equipment and also open work orders automatically. So this accelerator will show how we can consult Watson to provide us with recommended solutions to the problems, also search for answers to the work order related issues and provide feedback to Watson so that Watson gets smarter over time, thereby helping the field service technicians to solve their problems quicker with more accuracy going forward. So now that I've introduced the accelerator, let's go ahead and get started to see just how it actually works. So to begin the demonstration, I will type in my username and password and I'll click submit. Now immediately I'm taken to a list of my open work orders. Now imagine that I am a field service technician, I'm on the job and maybe I'm not even in front of my computer. So right now you may be watching this video in front of your computer, but think about how useful this would be for a field service technician who's out on the field and is looking at this information, let's say, on a tablet or some other sort of mobile device. So a few things to note here. Here are my open work orders. I can also click to see closed work orders, so I have a history of the things that I've done. I can also see my work orders in a map view, so I can understand maybe where are all the places that I have to go to in a given day. But now going back to my open work orders, I can see again this list and I can click to learn more about the work order that I have to complete. So let's say for example I'm interested in troubleshooting this first work order on my list of work orders which is this equipment door does not close and is stuck on the third floor. I can click on this arrow icon here which will give me additional information about the work order. So I can see the parts and the tools that are relevant and also the next best action. And this next best action is generated by Watson's training and understanding based on previous work orders that have a similar issue, what the appropriate course of action should be. So now to actually start the repair, I click start repair. And here you can see again the best solution. Now think about the fact that Without this type of solution, if a field service technician is out in the field and does not know how to solve the problem, he or she is either going to do one of two things. One, he or she is going to call for additional support and thereby involving another resource in this problem. Or two, is going to determine that it's not solvable and therefore someone else altogether at a different time will have to come figure this out. So being able to have this type of information at the fingertips of a field service technician when they're out in the field is very valuable. And here you can see some information that is relevant to the work order. So you have service history. I can also see information about the customer, information about warranty, the last installation. And then again, based on analysis of previous work orders, here is the component that would need to be replaced. And this is again based on Watson, what Watson has seen in the past. So to go ahead, I can click start and I can do a couple of different things. One, I can consult these repair passages that as a field technician will help me understand what is it exactly I'm supposed to do. And I can actually click to view that passage and see the actual document so I can understand where this is coming from. I can rate this one out of three stars. If I'm not necessarily pleased with the results that I'm getting, I can click troubleshoot. This will provide me with additional information based on similar cases that match the work order issue I'm trying to solve. But let's say that I want to mark this as complete. So I can rate this, I can also click complete, and I can provide additional field notes. Now these field notes then can be either a response of yes this is exactly what I was looking for or yes this recommended solution was relevant but in addition to this component there was another one that was needed and these notes can then be fed back into Watson for a future retraining so that Watson gets smarter over time. Now after I have completed my work order let's say that I want to search for something. 
So maybe it's a elevator scratch noise, for example. I can find information that's relevant. I can click to learn more and I will get the actual attachment that is relevant based on the search. The last thing I want to point out here is the ability to integrate with the chat. So let's say the company that you work for already has a chat that is used to talk from one field service technician to the other. That is something that could be integrated with Watson so that they can share information all within this field service technician accelerator. I can then go back to my dashboard and follow the same process for other work orders and start the repairs in the similar way that we did for this first one. So this concludes the field service advisor demonstration. Here we're showing how we can use Watson to elevate the expertise of the field service technicians by providing them with information at their fingertips so that they can troubleshoot these work orders quicker and also with more accuracy. We've also shown how you could integrate with the Watson IoT platform and use Watson machine learning to monitor and predict when work order issues will arise so that the work orders that I walked you through could also be automatically updated based on this data insights. I've also shown you how we can use Watson to locate passages that are most relevant based on the work orders that are in your queue and also how you can search for answers if you are not finding information that maybe you're looking for. And lastly, we showed how you can actually help Watson get smarter by providing feedback, whether that be in the star rating and also in the notes section, so that future trainings of Watson will yield better results to continue to elevate the expertise of the field technicians. So let us know what you think, post a comment, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.